We're staying on top of the backlash Governor Ralph Northam and VDOT are facing over that I-95 storm gridlock. The highly traveled stretch of the interstate finally reopened yesterday after countless drivers spent hours, even a full day, stranded. At the top of the hour, we told you the National Guard was on standby, but Governor Northam had no plans to deploy members. Now many people wonder why and what the Guard could have done to help. Matt Gregory verifies. When we think of disasters, the National Guard usually comes up, so it's natural for people to wonder what could the Virginia National Guard do for the I-95 traffic debacle? Unfortunately, what we verified is that there's not much the Guard units could have done. Facebook comments and tweets with thousands of likes and retweets asked why the National Guard wasn't called in. One tweet reads, where is the National Guard? It's cold, people don't have food or water, and only limited fuel. Others asked why those items weren't being airdropped in. So let's verify, what would need to happen to call in the National Guard, and what can they do to help? We got our answers straight from the source, the Virginia National Guard. So first, what would need to happen to call in the National Guard for an emergency? One way is a Virginia locality requests assistance. The governor then calls in a state of emergency and deploys the Guard. A spokesperson for the Virginia National Guard told us it would then take 12 to 24 hours to bring them on for duty. Next, let's verify what the Virginia National Guard can and can't do in a situation like this. According to a Virginia Guard spokesperson, they can and have helped transport first responders through heavy snow. They may have been able to go car to car to provide health and welfare checks, but said they don't have the resources to clear vehicles. They cannot plow or clear snow and have limited ability to pull stuck cars out of the snow. And that's because they say they only have two recovery wreckers in the area. And finally, the Virginia National Guard says they currently have, quote, very limited aviation capabilities. So airlifting things like gas, food, or water would not have been possible. So the last time the Virginia National Guard assisted with a snow event was in 2018, but it wasn't a traffic event like this. That year, the Guard transported local emergency crews through heavy snow in Hampton Roads and the Eastern Shore, and they also helped deliver food, medicine, and supplies to people trapped in their homes. With Verify, I'm Matt Gregory.